flag and my blade. I return victorious. Are you ready? Talk to me when you're ready. You've made a great contribution to Garland. Just when the Spider Queen was critically wounded, a group of elves appeared and finished her. Judging from their heavy gear, they were here to deal with a gigantic monster. Vilsack and the others were disarmed before they could figure out what was happening. The elves used their disabled friends to threaten them. The elves seized the Gorlanders. Instead of executing them, they sent them to the elven capital. Lava. Full of bullshit. I will not harm you because I don't need a war between the two races. <coughs> My friends were just telling the truth. Bison had recovered a bit of strength, but the elves would never believe that hundreds of humans attempted to navigate the dangerous dense forest to the maple forest merely to make new friends. You'll stay in our dungeon. We'll provide medical care, but you aren't leaving before the investigation is over. Excuse me, have we met before? Vilsack remembered that pair of antlers from his dream. They looked identical to the ones on the elf's head. Yes, we have. It was you? The prophet of the elves admitted without hesitation. It made the ranger excited, but also anxious. He had too many questions to ask. Vilsack, I'd like to invite you for a trip to gather some herbs. Are you willing to come along? Of course. I... Uh, I'd like to go. Looking back on the migration of the elves, in that desperate moment when they crossed the desert, fate offered them a paradise which was bigger than a raise to this ancient race. This forced them to examine the gains and losses of the Betrayer's War again. Vilsack, I know you. We went through a lot together. It's hard to believe you lost your memory. Was it you? Did you resurrect me? It was an omen, and yes, I saw your reanimated body. I used a spell to summon your soul back, but I failed. You didn't have your own consciousness. No. You made it. Only half of it at most. You lost your memory. It's not good. I can't do this.
should be honored. To the victor goes the sp Since you knew about the resurrected dead, why didn't you believe us? I don't believe humans, but I'm glad to see you've returned. Lawa needs you. Our enemy is strong. We need the humans' help. No, you did not see the truth. Riddled with arrows. We're all children of God here. This is a dangerous quest. Take care. The elven prophet, Enya Marceau, foresaw the catastrophe, but she wasn't willing to work with the humans. She revived Vilsack only to protect her own people. I was living among humans for a long time. I know them well, Vilsack. Do not trust them. You have to regain your memory. I'll help you. You can help me restore my memory. Relax yourself and close your eyes. Listen carefully. In the name of Latotus, died Vilsack, Dragon Slayer, Lord of Thunder Elves, with the blessings of the Tree of Eternity. Ah, this is... A burst of starlight flashed from the top of Enya Marceau's staff. It was like a dewy fog in the morning, gently sweeping over Vilsack's face. The ranger soon fell into a deep slumber, sinking to the bottom of his subconsciousness. Vilzak. Augustine? No, you demon, greedy wolf. Why? 
come out and face me. Do you understand? I can't betray my blood. I cannot disobey my king. I see. It's Quiddance, that courteous and noble bastard. You submitted yourself to him. Even if I didn't, the scourge would remain inevitable. Don't even try to stay out of it. You just want to keep your title. My title? It's meaningless. The decision was made in a blink of an eye. There was nothing I could do. You'll never redeem your soul from your sin. Riddled with arrows. To the victor goes the spirit. I turned on the switch of disruption, and I received my punishment. Maggie. Gilzak, oh. I will stay between the wheels of destiny until I perish. No one will feel pity for your foolishness.
riddled with arrows. 